Hello everyone! I wanted to try out sewing with lace for ages now and today I'm finally doing it. My plan is to create a tight fitted long sleeve and I will take you along step by step. I will be using the same pattern as for my last long sleeve. The link to the pattern is in the description. So let's go! First I crop the front and back pattern piece. Then, while cutting, make sure your fabric is stretchy sideways. Whenever cutting such a thin fabric, I think it's easiest using a rotary cutter. So these are all the pieces I cut out. To start sewing, the first step was to change the needle to one that is made for stretchy fabric. Then I tested the thread tension on a piece of scrap fabric. Next I tried out sewing the lace and also tested to make a French seam on opposite curves. Everything is prepared now and ready to go and I'm feeling a lot more confident that this will work out because of all the testing. So let's start sewing. First I put the front and back piece wrong sides facing and closed up the shoulder seam with a small seam allowance. Next I flipped it around and sewed it again encasing the raw edge creating a French seam. Then I put the sleeves to the correct sides and first pinned, then sewed them to the bodice, also with a French seam. If your fabric gets stuck in your machine, you can try putting some tissue paper underneath. All the pieces are attached together except for the neck piece, but I will worry about that later. And right now it's looking pretty good. Even the French seams on the shoulder seams are looking nice, which I was a bit worried about. So now the next step is to close up the side seams and the underarm seams and to do all of the hemming. I started by aligning the front and back piece and the sleeves. And then once again, I first sewed wrong sides together and afterwards right sides together. Next, I folded over the bottom edge 1.5 cm twice towards the inside and sewed it in place, creating the hem. I repeated the same steps for the sleeves. It's a bit tricky to sew the hem on the sleeves because it's all so small, but just go slow and it will work. I just realized that my fabric is only a two-way stretch and not four-way stretch fabric, which means that the body of the top is stretchy sideways, but the sleeve is only stretchy lengthwise. And I was so scared that I wouldn't be able to fit my arm into the sleeve, but I just tried it on and it fits, so <laughs> lucky me. And now the last step is to attach this neck piece to the neckline. First I folded the piece right sides facing and sewed it into a loop. Next I folded it in half and sewed a basting stitch to keep it in place. Then I divided the neckband into quarters and the neckline as well, pinned them together and sewed them together. Dividing them into quarters helps a lot with aligning both pieces evenly because the neckband is a bit shorter than the neckline of the rest. Lastly, I top stitched the seam allowance down. It is finished and I think it all worked out very well. I'm pretty happy that I managed to do the French seams on the shoulder seams because I was very scared that it is simply not possible to do that. And also I'm very happy that although I cut out the sleeves in the not stretchy direction, I'm still able to wear it. So it's not too tight on my arms. So now without further ado, let's have a look at the finished shirt. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you want to see me make my new favorite dress, go check out this video where I try the free Milton Pinafore pattern. See you!